Hello. Welcome back, you guys. Um, so, just wanted to give you an update with how day two of keto went, which day two was actually yesterday, September 2nd, 2020. Um, so, let me think. Yesterday, I had five eggs, um, like a half a cup of shredded cheese cooked in butter, as well as a bulletproof coffee, which is just black coffee with butter. I think I had like half a teaspoon of butter, something like that. It wasn't very much. Um, I felt good, but actually I was feeling a little nauseous when I went to work yesterday. So I, I had that meal probably around oh, 12.30 in the afternoon. And then when I got to work, it was like 4.30ish or 4ish. And I just felt like a little nauseous for whatever reason. I don't know if it was a keto or honestly yesterday I went into work a little anxious just about what we were walking into um, but other than that I've been feeling pretty good I just had some diet ginger ale and it settled my stomach um, but other than that I've been feeling pretty good I feel like I have consistent energy throughout the day I don't have any mental fog like so before I was on OMAD and even on OMAD one meal a day I felt like if I had a big carb meal it gave me this mental fog that would just linger for a while now keto I haven't gotten that um, I've always kind of felt that way like when I went to I used to go to Korean barbecue a lot before quarantine um, and Korean barbecue was awesome like you could have as much meat as you want and you wouldn't have like mental fog you wouldn't feel weird you would just get full you know and even when you were full it was never like a I want to throw up full it was like okay I'm satiated um, so maybe that was like a kind of a, a sign for me if you will to just go down the keto path but who knows um, but so far so good I've been feeling great I haven't worked out on keto yet so we we have yet to see how that's gonna go. Um, today is actually the third day of keto, and I'm going to go hit a workout right now. So we'll see how that goes. I'll update you guys tomorrow on that. Um, I'm kind of excited. I'm trying to think what else did I have yesterday. Oh, yesterday, um, my manager she got a Chipotle bowl for me as a surprise so what I did because I didn't want to like tell her like oh I'm on keto like I can't have that I just like ate all the meat and cheese and veggies and then just left the rice Oops, sorry left the rice at the bottom because <laughs> I didn't want to I didn't want her to feel bad you know so yeah um, but that's all I had to eat yesterday was the eggs in the morning the bulletproof coffee and then the the half of the Chipotle bowl and honestly, I, I felt pretty satiated. Like I, I wasn't really hungry. Uh, maybe that has something to do with like that the fact that I was doing OMAD before this. So like I'm used to fasting. Um, but I also just haven't. The first day we were on keto, I, I mentioned I got kind of hungry around lunchtime. But I think maybe that was just like me conditioning my body to eat at certain times because I know that. Um, your body gets used to eating at certain times and that's why you get hungry at the same time every day is just because your body's used to it and it's like okay where's this food like you give me food at this time every day why am I not getting it right now so um, so far so good I feel good I don't have any keto flu symptoms um, the only thing I will say is like so I had chorizo for this morning, chorizo and eggs. And it's like sometimes just having like a lot of fat can be uh, off-putting. But the trade-off with that is that you just, it's very satiating. So like it's really rich, I guess you could say. So like once you have some, like you're good for a while. Like you don't want anything. Um, the only downsides is, it's, oh my gosh, my favorite foods some of my favorite foods are lasagna, spaghetti, and what's called flautas, which are just like tacos rolled up. They're called taquitos, I guess. And my mom, sorry about the mic. My mom um, made spaghetti and flautas, two of my favorite foods. And I just, 
I had none. It's so hard for I wanted to eat like one or like a little bit of spaghetti and I just I had to say no. But I also think that's just me overcoming just like mouth pleasure. Like my mouth is like, bro, you want that. But it's like, yeah, but I'm not even hungry. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's where I'm at with keto. I wanted to give you guys that update. Um, seeing as how I'm doing the 30 day keto diet. Um, I will say I am down seven pounds from when I started and it's only been like two and a half days. So I'm sure that's not all fat. It has to be like glycogen stores getting squeezed out of me, I'm sure. So we'll see. I'm going to go hit this workout and see how I feel. Uh, it might be a rough one. So I'm going to take a little pre-workout. No, All right, you guys, I will catch you on tomorrow's in tomorrow's update. Beep.